Well, that didn't take long. Just he, kidding, I bet so. Yeah, he broke it again. That would be, you know, likely in, in normal situation, but I really haven't had a chance to drive it yet. The people would have seen. So we just got, uh, if you guys remember from my trip to Tennessee a few months ago, the last time this was out, got a little uh, sidewall puncture in this tire, just got a new tire on this wheel. And yeah, if you guys remember, kind of hinted, Rex 3 is getting some new wheels and tires. Well, guess what? That time is today. Take a look at these units right here. All right, those are boxed up. You can't really see. Yeah, but, but you, you've, you've withheld information on me on these things. Like, you haven't even showed me. You just, oh, yeah, I got new wheels coming. Well, it's a surprise. Yeah. Oh, we'll just metal off axles. <laughs> that, that's true. That's true. We'll pull one out. Let's show the people what this thing's getting. So I've liked these things ever since these things came out. have wanted them for a long time. Today's the day. Metal FX Hitman. So these are beadlock wheel. They're sweet. Not much else to say about them. These are going to look sweet on the Rex 3. So we've got these. We also have tires. You know, some yeah. people might say, hey, you're just going to drive on wheels. You know, it's something I might try, but... Yeah, it's not going to get much traction. No, and that's what we need. So let's show the people what we got over here. We got ourselves a freaking set of Obor Lynx 32s. These are freaking beasts. These so quite aggressive, like... <laughs> Look at the lugs on these things. I mean, they're spaced out. Like, these things almost look like mud tires. Yeah, these are these are supposed to be pretty sweet. So, I've never ran Obor tires before, but we're going to try them out. And the cool thing is, if any of the people watching want a set of Obor tires or they want a set of Metal FX wheels, RRU TV shop, yeah. dude. We can get them hooked up with a set of each. So, that's what they need. And what's cooler than that? There's not much, but there's some stuff over yonder. I was going to say, I can think of something much cooler, you know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, these are yours. Right. Yours, they're not mine. Right. So you've got uh, you got yourself a pretty healthy machine these days. You like doing some sand riding. You like doing some racing. The only thing you know left is traction for you. That's right. what you need. Which I had traction, and then we added power. Right. And I didn't have any traction anymore. Yeah. So let's take a look over yonder to see what you got there. I'm trying to hide what kind of wheels you got. So I'm just gonna go ahead oh, and uh, here, I'm, I'm gonna spin around. <laughs> So, starting with the rears, what do you got here, my man? So, thanks to our friends over at Peak Off-Road, I hit them up on some paddles, some 1300 pluses STUs, and they said, hey, we actually have a set off Rob's car, which actually held the stock turbo record for a little bit. So, I ended up picking them up. They're not really used too much. They got a little bit of use on them, but not a ton. Yeah, they still got the freaking uh, biddies on them. Yeah, that's cool. All right, so they're number two paddle, 1300 pluses. Comp cut, these things are light. Like, yeah. I'm shocked how light they are. I guess I haven't really played with too much comp cut stuff other than like what the Wayland guys have. Right. But then we got some system off-road SS360s for the front. So I'm excited. I'm excited about this. Yeah, that's a pretty standard setup. System three, uh, SS360s on the front. Nice STU paddle on the back. And I kind of just gave away what you're getting for your wheels. So why don't you show the people what you're gonna get on your machine these hostile wheels Obviously man hostile. yeah basically it, it, i mean unless you go to something ultra super duper lightweight which is freaking crazy these are the way to go these are super light these are the uh boost wheel so i think these are what 15 by 11 i think is what we went with and these are i mean i had these on uh a couple machines great wheel they look super nice they're light i think these are like 12 pounds or something yeah, i don't i don't know quite light yeah but these are these are the ticket i think these wheels with these tires with your machine it's gonna be fast yeah i'm i'm really excited one just to see how these look yeah these are these are sexy yeah and then really excited to get in the sand and actually feel the power yeah you know be able to put it down right so we've got uh we got some work ahead of us we got eight tires to mount yeah, with bead locks. Yeah, four well, four of them with bead locks. These should go pretty good. We're probably going to have some uh, some thermal assistance when we're mounting these, so yeah, it should be a big deal. Starting fluid. Yeah, yeah. I say we do. I say we do that one over there first. I already got one of the wheels off. You know, it just makes sense. So makes sense. Starting on these freaking bead locks. Did you already lose one of the washers? No, I dropped it. But I found it. Oh, right you found it. Okay. Man, these look good. I've wanted these for so long. So we're going to leave the uh, billet wheels on the short core setup that's what i'm calling that 30 by 11s you need maximum strength when it comes to that i feel so yeah, these I, are good wheel nice and tough but 
I mean, and plus, I don't know. It's hard to say. Both of them are super good looking wheels. I don't know which I like better, but I've wanted these for a while. So yeah, I just, both, yeah. They both equally look good. Yeah. Besides the other ones are scratched up. But I mean, these are on their way there. <laughs> <laughs> These are gonna look freaking good. Yeah, they do. Look real good. I'm a big fan. Big fan. Oh, are we missing a freaking washer on that one? Must have fell off. Are we missing washers on these ones? Nope, that one's good. That one's good. These do have like a ton of bolts on the beadlock ring. Well, that is, there's literally a ton of bolts. Yeah, like. This tire's not going anywhere. 2,000 pounds. About, I don't know. Oh. Bolts. 2,000 pounds? Man, that hands heavy. Yeah, I know, tell me about it. We're gonna really put these things to the freaking test at Crossbar Ranch for that bounty course. Like, after the performance last year, I had a lot of things working against me. And I think right now, I've got a pretty pro setup. A lot of new things, a lot of uh, working well things. A lot of things that are uh, designed to go through that course. Whereas last year, I didn't have a whole lot that was designed to go through that course. I had much bigger turbo. I had a non-functioning power steering. I had a machine that would uh, intermittently just turn off. All of those things uh, since been eliminated and upgraded to superior technology. So I'm feeling pretty good. Also, I think we're probably gonna do a little bit of riding at Durhamtown prior to uh, going to Oklahoma, so that'll be neat. Break in the machine there, test it out, make sure it's good to go. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. Hope to see you guys at Crossbar Ranch for freaking side-by-side uh, -side USA spring hoedown. Be a good time. <clears throat> Kyle's awesome. going to be there, so, I mean, think about that. You know it's going to be a good time then. And I've seen the schedule. I don't know if you are participating. I know where this is going. But I think, I think you are. I think you're on the list. There's a pie eating contest, and I think you are participating in that. Yeah, I didn't really sign up for that uh, knowingly, but maybe it's just like because I'm going, I've automatically been signed up. I'm not sure. I think so. But yeah, it is what we yeah, I mean, if it was a burger oh, eating contest, dude. in the bag. Guys shouldn't even show up at that point, but pie, that's a different dynamic, honestly. I don't know. I think you'll win. I've seen you eat. I've seen you eat anything. I'll give it a shot. This is down all the way still. Can we see that tire? Probably not. Let's run her home. I'm a little spooked, you know. Worst case, you must your brand new, brand new wheels up. I ain't worried about mine. I just don't know. Putting them over down all the way. They popped up. You know, hard to see. It look even or not really? Like yeah, I think you're good. I think you're good. Wow. Put it in reverse, Terry. Okay. Back it up. Nice hey. Samsung Galaxy S2. Man. No, this is an iPhone. We don't we don't play with Androids. Man, it's so much clearer now. Anyways, we had all four done, but we were so, we love doing this so much that we decided to take one back apart because Rick, you know, Rick I, messed one up. Yeah, so how is that, my man? Basically, we did five of these. Well, because somebody <laughs> blew out the inner. I've never seen that in my life. He claims he took the uh, valve core out and then threw some. Starting fluid in there and lit it on fire. Yeah, listen, move. guys, these these here, they're freaking, they're so tough. You know, you need the freaking uh, liquid cedar. You know, maybe I'll show you the liquid cedar, maybe not. But, uh, you know, I had to use it as a little aerosol, a little flame. And turns out the valve stem didn't like it. It uh, freaking ejecto stem on So, you know, we're doing this again. Fifth bead lock. You know, this is Kyle's favorite job, actually, so it's pretty cool we get to do this. It's his, he likes it so much, I'm doing it, actually. It's pretty weird, but. It's your stuff. You know? You gotta learn, right? Yeah, yeah it's first time, man, for sure. <laughs> I tell you what, guys, this was the site I needed to see, so 
Had these wheels for a little bit, just got the tires. For the past couple months, the Rex 3 has been in a state of disarray, frustration, of, of illness. And just take a look at these wheels and tires. These things make the machine. What do you think before we show the people? They're all right. Yeah, they're all right. Man, look at that setup. Ignore this Chrysler pile right here, but this thing looks tough. Holy smokes. It's been a while since this thing's been on uh, 32s, but it's the, it's the right choice for this unit. She looks beefy. Yeah, it's, it's a way different look than those. Yeah. It's crazy. It like, looks taller and everything. I, mean, I know they're a taller tire, but still. Yeah. Like an inch. Like the machine's going to be an inch taller. Right. Though. Yeah, it looks way different. Totally transforms it. Love those wheels and the tires, too. I can't wait to see how those tires perform. So I'm excited. Let's start working on yours. We, uh, you know, it's taking us a little bit longer than we yeah, thought. But somebody, you know, messed up a valve stem. You. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to see how good a job you're Well, in typical fashion, uh, Kyle had to say how long it took me to do my wheels and tires, and then it took us uh, equally as long to do his. No, it so. took a lot. Well, yeah, with the same trip to the auto parts store. <laughs> Man. Hey, but guess what? Those yeah. wheels look freaking good. Let's go look at them. Yeah. Also, what's wrong with your boots? The, the freaking boot squeaks. <laughs> I don't know why. I probably should just buy new ones. Look at these wheels. I had, a, instead of affording boots for myself, I had to buy new shoes for my side-by-side. -side. You know, priorities, I respect that. Well, these look good, lay that sucker up. Let's see how she looks. There's 10 PSI in these, so I think they recommend around them eight to six, but. Yeah, yeah we're gonna drop them down. Big dogs. That's a good looking setup. Big, big. I think, I like that width of the wheel. Those are 11s on a 13 inch tire. So that looks good. That looks super good. These fronts look good. Yeah, this fence looks awesome. Oh, you were looking at the back. Yeah, now uh, I think definitely the uh, the fronts are for sure heavier compared to the backs. <laughs> Feel that. I think they are. They might be a touch. Yeah. I might need a little, I don't want to comp cut them for durability, but. Maybe just hack off every other paddle. That's pretty common. Yeah, hack off these small ones. Yeah. Well, we got your tires all mounted up. Those are cool. These are cool over here on my machine. I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a little teleport over to your house. Put these on. And put these on and see how they look. I'm excited for that. So we're just going to uh, we're gonna head there instantly. Ready? We got to test these units out. You going to the field? Uh huh? Going to go mud bog it? The field? Man, I'm too scared. That thing looks good though. It sounds good. That trio exhaust is so quiet with the extra muffler. Yeah, it still sounds good. Pretty good, I think. Oh yeah. Now let's actually teleport to your house. Yeah, what is this? Oh, it's X3, never seen one of those before. Never in my life. But look at this thing on new wheels and freaking paddled. Don't race tires. She looks good. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of them. They look they look sick on there. That's a good setup. Wide, uh, wide dish on the back. Yeah, I like that 11. I've never seen an 11-inch wide version of that boost wheel in uh, in person. That looks good. Big fan. Yeah, me too. So what's left? We got some other cool stuff to uh, put on this particular unit. Mine needs an alignment. Yeah, yours and, needs uh, an alignment. Mine needs some stuff that we got to take that cover off for. Yeah, we won't talk about that just yet, but we got a big box of goodies of uh, billetness that's going to go on. Yeah, I'm and, pumped uh, about that. Yeah. Yeah, this thing's coming together. Just needs a cage. Yeah. Seats. That's done. 
Yeah, well, that's probably going to do it for this video. So pretty simple stuff. We, uh, we're just about ready to go on our big trip down to Florida for Kalitas and Cars and then Crossbar Ranch after that for the Side-by-Side -side USA Spring Hoedown. We've been saying it for a long time, but uh, it's going to be a big two-week-long trip. And the unit should be in good shape. So if you guys want a set of either one of the wheels, either these hostile wheels or the Metal FX wheels or the Obor tires, get a hold of us, RRUTV. We'll get you set up with some good stuff. Your machine will be looking as good as this, as good as mine. We can even make their machines run as good as ours do. So true. We can tune them. We can get all the whaling goodies for them. Yeah. Suspension stuff, whatever you guys need. Razor, X3, pretty much any of them. Everything. So get a hold of us. So that's going to do it for this video. It's also a super special episode. This is going to be the third shop we've been in in this video. We're going to go for four next time. So Rex 3 is behind me, all lined up, ready to go. Might give it a wash, might fill it up with fuel before we load it on the trailer. But man, we're excited to head down to Florida. We're excited to rip Crossbar Ranch. Got a lot of stuff that's going down there that's going to be pro. I think we're going to do good. So appreciate your guys' support in this matter. We'll be seeing you in a couple days. And... Gonna be in warm weather before we know it. I like that.